we're back at sea and I always find the first hour at sea a bit nerve-wracking, even after all this time. Don't know why, just do. I think but, it's because it takes you time just to settle in um, and get the sails up. There's just a lot to do in that first section. And you never really know what the conditions are until you're right here. Mm. Um, today the conditions are great, you know, the sea state's smooth and we've also got the sails up, which I have to say I absolutely love. We are a sailboat. We are a sailboat, we prefer being a sailboat than a motorboat. We do. Um, but um, we're sailing downwind at the moment, which is why um, our Genoa is actually on the first reef, isn't it Bev? Yes, there's no point in hauling it all the way out, because if I do, some of the Genoa will be behind the main, it won't get any wind. It's just extra fabric that uh, just pulls the rest of the sail down. So rather than put out extra fabric that's not going to provide any drive, I've just um, put out as much of the uh, Jenny as um, is visible to the wind. So hopefully we'll get a maximum benefit from that. Mm. Now we are actually on a slight foul tide here um, because um, we're advised um, if you're coming out of um, Kilmore Quay um, that you could go out sort of like a little bit of foul tide but you said only about an hour and a half to two hours maximum. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, all you're doing is you stop in and we did see another boat who did go out earlier than us. They were making and, pointy at knots. <laughs> and I reckon that's what he means by not doing an awful lot. conditions are a lot more pleasant now that we've come around the corner. Um, the, the Atlantic swell isn't as, isn't as intense here, is it? Yeah, it's basically dissipated, but um, I think we're on about the fourth or fifth drive now. Luckily you managed to get the worst one in the camera. Oh, so. jab, jab number three was a disaster. <laughs> but you have at least got it. So here for your pleasure is <laughs> jab number three. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so um, I'm ready to jive. More than I am. Right. I'm not actually ready to jive. I haven't got to. I've got to turn Annie off first. Okay, so we don't care what happens in the gym. We sort it out after the jive. Yeah. Okay, let me know when you're ready to start manoeuvring. I'm ready to start manoeuvring. Okay. Starting okay. jiving. Okay, go. So we're bringing. Okay, wind's almost behind us. Bring the man across. Take it round, let the man out. Okay. Hey, man. One thing for certain, the swell's pretty amazing. Yeah. It is, isn't it? Right. Um, forward plate. Oh, okay. So that's what's wrong with the <laughs> Yeah. Oh, dear. I'll have to go forward. Keep her on this one for God's sake. Don't let her jive. So Beverly's going forward because the line's caught and she's just released it now. Now the Genoa is fine. Just you watch what you're doing. You never mind me, you watch that sail. I know. Come on. What are you doing? You're taking us the wrong way. I thought I was taking us the right 
You're going backwards. The wind's behind you. I know. We're supposed to be going to the bloody point. Go to the soaring windmills. Sorry, Beverly. Oh. You just watch where you're going. I'll do everything else. Okay. Oh, sorry for shouting at you. It's alright, Beverly. Oh. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Anyway, we're um, just coming up to Rosslare, which is where all the ferries come from Europe and um, from Fishguard, I think, in uh, Wales. And uh, I can see a steady Europe on the horizon. But we're just having to tack by jibing. We are! Um, and um, I have to be honest, I think Annie, our autopilot, does a lot better sailing downwind than I do. I am ridiculously bad. That is definitely something I need to improve. Well, guess what? Here's a great opportunity. I know! <laughs> but, um, yeah. So we're going to carry on in this line for a little bit, then we're going to jibe yet again. For about the seventh time today and then when we're settled down uh, once we get around this corner or maybe a little before it's going to be a, <coughs> a spot of curry in this today yeah. can't wait <coughs> well we're hoping that this jive is going to be a little smoother than jive number three <laughs> yeah than jive number three but if it isn't we're not turning the cameras on for any more no, no, no. This is all you're getting, but hopefully it's a decent die. <laughs> so I've just taken um, the autopilot off. Okay. And uh, checking all around me. There's nothing I have to worry about. Okay, so starting the jive. Here she comes. It's about there, I think. And then. I've just done, just done white. Right, we're never turning the cameras on again. I've just done white the wrong winch. <laughs> Dear. So, although that one had a little head mishap, at least it wasn't as big as the last one. No. <clears throat> but, yes, again, we managed to get a little mishap just for you guys. Beverly and I are back in Arklo and um, we arrived at about 11 o'clock at night and um, there was just so many boats rafted here um, that we had to raft to the survey boat but as soon as uh, we could uh, we got onto the pontoon um, and we had a few more boats rafted to us later so just because we were slightly later in the season you know the visitor pontoon just got very very busy uh, with lots and lots of rafted boats. One of the things that really, really helped uh, when we came in and had to raft at 11 o'clock at night was uh, a torch that I uh, purchased with uh, our YouTube earnings. It's 600 lumens, so it's pretty bright uh, and was so super, super useful. So um, I was really glad of that. And let's switch it on. Hey, pass it here. I could maybe use it as a studio prop. Oh, that's so much better. Let's, <laughs> let's do the interview all over again. Okay.